Oh boy, here we are again with another powder blue car. This is a 2007 Chrysler PT Cruiser, and I apologize for the road noise, with 85,000 miles. And of course, this is a lovely convertible model. Rental special, but hey, if you're going to go cruise by the beach and you just want something fuel efficient, here you go. And this is the 2.4 turbo touring model. So it's got a little bit of extra pep over the regular PT Cruiser. A nice little support crossmember brace to help increase the rigidity since I'm sure these weren't very rigid to begin with and I'm sure that doesn't help. Let's go ahead and step inside. Typical Chrysler key, nothing special there. Bong, bong, bong. It's got a compass here and a te outside temperature display. And of course, 85,444 miles. The really, really, really big PT Cruiser steering wheel. Uh, and the PT Cruiser typical controls on the windows up, uh, up here, which I, I guess I could get used to. It's a little weird. Um, analog clock. Climate controls are down here air conditioning, all your different zones, nothing too special, no heated seats or anything, just cloth, um, manual adjustment. This is the controls for the roof right here, defrost, hazards, all that good stuff. Typical Chrysler stereo, not bad, does its job. Again, this isn't really meant, this isn't the kind of car that you're really supposed to be like, wow! This is just supposed to be cruising on the boulevard for the style, for uh, those of you that, that like PT Cruisers anyway, I guess. Um, but it's really not. I mean, everyone makes fun of them, but they serve their purpose, to be honest. Power mirror controls are over here. Uh, cup holders, which are kind of small, but power port slash cigarette outlet. And a little cubby down here. And another big cup holder, big American cup holder right there. A little pocket for your phone. You have a bi-level console here. Plenty of storage. And, of course airbag. I wonder how the airbag comes out of there. It must break open or something, but it's a nice, all right, sized glove box. Let's go ahead and get in the back seat here. You have a little lever right here that you push, and that brings the seat forward. Climb under the seat belt here, and I'm not going to lie, the legroom's a little lacking, but this is a very small car with a convertible top sitting in the back of it, so it's really not that bad for short trips. And especially with the top down, you get some air, which is nice. Cup holders here in the back, and you have a little, it looks like a bag carrier, so it looks like you might hang your uh, handbag on there, so that should tell you the audience for this vehicle. And let's go ahead, turn it off. take a look back here and see what kind of space we got. Now with the top down, that's what you got, and that's actually pretty darn, darn good for the top down. Um, that's about the size of a, a compact car trunk, and that's, that's with this massive thing sitting on top, so that's pretty good. You also do have a power outlet, Chrysler likes to do that, and that's actually pretty handy for those of you that tailgate. You got your little uh, illuminated handles here in lieu of a illuminated, I'm sorry, not in lieu of, in addition to your illuminated trunk controls. So there's several ways to get out of the car in case you get locked in the trunk, which I doubt would happen in the back of a PT Cruiser, but hey, you never know. All right guys, thanks for watching. And as always, I'll be filming more videos here at my friend Auto Sales, and the details are in the description. So if you're interested, give them a call. Thanks for watching guys.